हेलो स्टूडेंट नमस्ते सब जन लाइ सो टुडे आई एम हियर विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड सिंपल टॉपिक दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कोडाटा दिस इज वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक बट स्टूडेंट यूज टू गेट कंफ्यूज इन दिस टॉपिक वेरी मच बिकॉज स्टूडेंट यूज टू रीड अबाउट एवरीथिंग दैट इज पीसेस टेटापोडा यूरो कोडाटा सिफालो कोडाटा बट व्हेन द एग्जामिनर आस्क्ड देम फ्रॉम द क्लासिफिकेशन इटसेल्फ दे गेट कंफ्यूज बिकॉज दे हैवंट क्लासिफाइड द कोडाटा in proper way so today i am here with the proper classification of codata stay with me and make your note properly and if you like my channel please do subscribe it so let's begin with the topic today our topic is classification of codata so in phylum codata phylum codata फाइलम कोडाटा इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री सब फाइलम ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्रेजेंस और एबसेंस ऑफ नोटो कोड सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नोटो कोड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नोटो कोड इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री सब फाइलम On the basis of noto code, it is classified into three sub phylum. Sub phylum. Sub phylums. So the first is Eurocordata. Eurocordata. Eurocordata, and the second is Cephalocordata. 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 And the third is vertebrata, vertebrata or craniata, craniata or eurocordata, eurocordata. Here craniata means here craniata means having brain box. Having brain, having brain box, and this eurocordata and cephalocordata are collectively called. This eurocordata and cephalocordata are collectively called. Collectively called protocordata. Protocordata. Protocordata or acraniata. Ocraniata that is without without brain box without brain box and this and the example of Eurocorata is Hardmania 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 Siona Siona Doliolum Doliolum and Pyrosoma. Pyrosoma and this Armenia Siona Doliolum Pyrosoma and this Pyrosoma is bionumerescent. Bionumerescent that is producing light or twinkling in the night, producing light. Bioluminescent. Luminescent. Bioluminescent. And After that, we have vertebrata craniata or eucorata that is having brain box, and this vertebrata has two groups. That is, divided into two groups, and the groups is agantha and ganthostoma. Agantha. and ganthostoma ganthostomata ganthostomata and here agantha means agantha means jawless that is without jaw jawless and this ganthostoma means having jaw 
having jaw and now this agantha is again classified into two classes at first chordata is classified into subphylum three subphylum eurochordata cephalochordata vertebrata and this eurochordata and cephalochordata collectively called protochordata or ocranata that is without brain box and this vertebrata is again classified into two groups that is agantha and ganthostoma and now this agantha is classified again into two classes and that that is two classes that is cyclostomata and cyclostomata and ostracodom ostracodom and the example of cyclostomata is petromyzen 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 c lamprey c lamprey and mixin mixin that is hagfish mixin that is hagfish and now in ganthostoma ganthostoma is divided into two super classes two super classes super classes that is spices and tetrapoda tetrapoda and this tetrapoda is classified into four classes classes four classes that is amphibians amphibian reptiles reptiles birds and mammals mammals so this all about the phylum chordata that is classification of chordata that is chordata phylum chordata is classified on the basis of notochord into three subphylum that is eurochordata cephalochordata and vertebrata vertebrata is also called craniata or eucordata craniata means having brain box and this euro eurochordata and cephalochordata is collectively called protochordata or ocraniata ocraniata means without brain box and then this vertebrata is classified into two groups that is agantha and ganthostoma agantha means jawless and ganthostoma means having jaw and this agantha is again classified into two classes two classes that is cyclostomata and ostracodom and ganthostoma is again divided into two super classes that is pisces and tetrapoda and this tetrapoda is classified into four classes that is amphibians reptiles birds and mammals which you we used to study in detail that is fish amphibians reptiles birds and mammals so this all about the classification of data so please check the screenshot take the screenshot and thank you for the class